So, hey guys, um, today I'm going to be going over how these little um, HD44780 LCD displays work. So, let's get started. Sorry, the camera's a bit heavy, so that makes it kind of unstable. But, anyways, so you'll notice that when we put it in, um, we turn off the power. And it says cool. So that's what I programmed it to do. So this program will be on my website. And uh, you can pretty much type in anything you want here. It's really standard. But anyway, uh, what I have done here is. One sec. I have. Um, okay, let's just. Sorry, make this light maybe a bit better. Here. Okay. So what I do is I have the first pin of the LCD here. Oh, let me get something to point at it with here, a marker. Okay, the first pin of the LCD is hooked up to ground. Okay, that's really common. Second pin, you see that orange jumper, that's hooked to five volts, okay, and these are hooked to the Arduino's rails. The third pin is the contrast. This is one a lot of people don't get, but it's really simple to get the contrast right. What you do is you put on the third pin, the contrast pin, a 1K resistor, just a simply a one kilo ohm resistor, like uh, right here. You know, 1K, it's brown, black, red, gold. And you hook up the 1K. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. That should stay. Okay, it looks pretty stable. You simply hook that one, the 1K resistor from the contrast pin to ground, and it gives you absolute perfect contrast. As you can see, it just says cool, and it's perfectly contrasted. The third pin, pin 3, or actually, sorry, pin 4, pin 3 is contrast. Pin 4, you're going to put to Arduino pin 12, okay? So you can see, right here I have that wire going just to pin 12. Pin 5 is the read-write pin. You're going to want to put that to pin 11, so you can see right there it goes to 11. Pin 6 is the enable. It's going to go to pin 10, okay? Then you have four ports of nothing. Okay, you're just going to leave those four empty. And so because you would use those if you were doing an 8-bit mode, but to save Arduino pins, we're going to use it in 4-bit mode. So then this next pin, I think that is pin 11, is just a regular data pin and it goes to pin 5. Okay, as you can see there. Okay, so the next one, just pin 12, is also a data pin. It goes to pin 4. The next one, same thing, but put pin 3. And then lastly, um, you have 15, or set four, sorry, 14 to pin 2. So that's 11 to 5, 12 to 4, 13 to 3, 14 to 2. This last one here, pin 15, it goes to pin 13 on my Arduino. And the reason is that is because I can control the backlight. So you see here, and then um, the last pin, pin 16, is the backlight ground. So you see, if I remove this one, I'm not sure if you can see that, the backlight go off, but the backlight does go off. So if I can do this without knocking over the tripod and plug it back in. Anyway, um, it's really easy to see in real life. Not sure how well it is easy to see is on the recording. But anyway, that's how simple these things are to use really simple. You can program it to say anything you want. Um, code is going to be on my website, and all you have to do is change the, a phrase. It's going to say you can change this phrase. All you have to do is change that phrase, and the thing will just say whatever you want it to. So, you, so I built this into the temperature sensor LCD. And how do you know which pin is pin 1 and which one is 16? says so right there you can see pin 1 and right there you can see pin 16 it's that simple and this is programmed just on a Dewey Milanovi Nove but it will work with a Mega as well or any Arduino with enough pins I think right here you need four um, four seven pins at minimum 
but if you want to be able to control the backlight, you can use eight. Anyway, these things, um, that's how simple they are to use. So we'll just go over the pin connections. One to ground, two to five, three is a, a 1K to ground, four is to pin 12, five is to pin 11, six is to pin 10, 11 is to pin five, 12 is to pin four, 13 is to pin three, 14 is to pin two, 15 is to pin 13, and 16 is to ground. Seven, eight, nine, and 10 are not connected to anything. You can just leave those blank as seen here. And so when I was saying pin 1 is to ground, that means pin 1 on the LCD is to Arduino ground. So it was LCD and then Arduino. Okay? So, yeah, and there are more, much fancier things you can get into, but we won't go into those now. So just to show you how easy it is to actually change what it says, I'm going to change it to saying the circuit head run. I just, I'm not sure if this, nope, okay, we're uploading code, I'm not sure if the circuit head run is more, because you can only have 16 characters on one line, so, um, we'll see, um, uh, gets most of it, the circuit head, so, here, we'll delete the, the, and you can see I'm just literally just typing it, just typing in the words I want it to say, nothing fancy we have to do here. So it's it's very simple. Okay, there we go. Circuit head run. So yep, that's how the simple these things are to use. Go out, do something with them yourself. It costs like five bucks on BG Micro. Uh, thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Go to my website, quicknuclearscience.webs.com. Uh, thank you for watching. The code will also be on the website under the files page. Thanks for watching.